I think it's worth saying that that it has always been greeted by quite a lot of people saying, "Oh, well, that makes sense now. Finally, someone's described autism in a way that is actually coherent and covers all of the aspects of it, rather than just focusing on one particular area." But a, a big part of it is just it's not directly practical but it's about understanding where the barriers come from right understanding like what it is that makes something like a classroom environment or a work environment or a home environment so difficult for so many autistic kids allows you to start pulling down the barriers and making things easier and also recognizing really recognizing personally and genuinely that there are issues going on which you can help with, rather than just assuming that this is all stuff which can be kind of swept away.